In a simultaneous breakthrough from the Busan beachhead, other UN troops joined in pushing the North Koreans back toward the 38th parallel and beyond. By mid-October, the capital of North Korea had fallen, and MacArthur's army was moving toward the Chinese border. How would the Soviets react? Would they increase aid to North Korea? What about communist China? Might the Chinese feel threatened by an American army so close to their border? There were rumors that Chinese troops were gathering just beyond the Yalu River, the frontier between North Korea and China. But MacArthur insisted these reports were false. Truman flew to Wake Island for a conference with his general. MacArthur had alarmed the president by publicly criticizing his Far East policies. Now, with the threat of a Chinese invasion of Korea, it was crucial that the two men understood each other. The uh, situation had developed where I felt that I must have a conversation with MacArthur. I took him over to the other side of Wake Allen, sat down with him and talked to him for nearly three quarters of an hour. And he assured me in no uncertain terms that Red China would not come into Korea. And I went home feeling very, very good about the situation. When I got to San Francisco, I made a speech on the subject and complimented him on what he had done and told the American people and that I didn't think the Chinese were coming into Korea. And then, you know what happened. Thousands and thousands of Chinese communists came into uh, Korea from the north over the Yellow River and drove our people back toward the south. There were 200,000 Chinese in North Korea backing up 26 uh, of their divisions. And we, our forces were not over half a dozen divisions. And they pushed us back to the 38th parallel and it didn't stop there. By winter, the UN forces faced once again the possibility of being driven from Korea. Discouraged, outnumbered, ill-equipped to handle the cold, they barely hung on through the freezing Korean winter. In the air, Chinese pilots attacked American jets over Korean soil, then fled north to safety beyond the Yalu. UN pilots were not permitted to pursue them over Chinese territory. General MacArthur and I came to grips over the thing. We fell out on that very thing. He wanted to chase these planes over the border here and bomb the Chinese uh, back behind the Korean border as well as to move an, our army up and really fight a war here with communist China. That we couldn't stand for because Russia and China had a mutual defense pact. 